So hi guys, uh, John here again. Uh, I'm out today, like I said, in the Midlands in Ireland, in Port Leash, and here is Flynn. He's having a little sniff around, get his energy out. Um, so we're going, getting ready to go out with two friends. Uh, just bring you over, see the trail map. At the moment, Flynn is super engaged in everything around him. So 10, 15 minutes before the ride, I'm just letting him calm down a little bit, get all the energy sniff out. Well, energy, I say energy. He's still got a lot of energy. Um, so just to show you the trail map here, this is what we're riding today. Hey, boy. Okay, guys. Uh, so, unfortunately, I forgot to bring the camera with me out on the trail. So we went to the Midlands today to a trail called Sleeve Blooms. It's just open. It's about six kilometers um, at the moment. And it's primarily kind of a gravel, gravel track with a few rock features, really nice berms, uh, a lot of pumping and stuff like that. So today, as I said, we were meeting up with two of our friends. Um, they have a Hungarian Vista as well. He's found the treats. Um, and oh my god, their dog is the epitome of like the perfect trail dog. Uh, he doesn't go too far. Um, he comes back kind of when he's called straight away. And then he stays in heel the entire time on the flats, uh, climbing up and stuff like that. And uh, today with Flynn, uh, he wasn't too bad. Uh, I think probably the distraction of having a second dog there was, was uh, my mistake. But he was really, really good on the descents, uh, playing around with Pebe. Um, they got along. They get along really well. They've known each other since they're little puppies. Um, so they flew around together. Uh, descending wise, he stayed behind. It was when the trail kind of evened out into kind of flatter areas that he wanted to go and explore. Um, and really, what I would have liked to have done is stop. Um, and this is uh, a fault of my own: is stop and bring him back into heel. Um, and then let him learn that he has to be behind before he goes exploring. Um, so again, it was a new trail, a new set of uh, smell, scents and stuff for him that was uh, too overpowering because uh, he likes to go explore. Um, so I'm going to go back to kind of our local trails, take not, uh, go out early, try and beat people out before just to give him that time. Um, he did go in front of me on some parts of the trail that were kind of more flowy and flat, um, but you could still pick up a bit of pace. Um, and he's super good um, from the kind of canny cross to commands to drive on and go on. Um, they really helped come across into the biking. So he also knows not to get in the way of the bike. Um, if I call the turns and stuff like that, he knows where to go. So I'm not too worried about him being in front, um, but I want to have the option of training him to be kind of in both areas. Um, so today, it was still a lot of fun. He had great fun, as you can see. He's rumbling around here. Um, he's a little bit tired. We did about six kilometers. Stop, gave them water breaks and stuff like that. And uh, it was one of her friends' first times as well out mountain biking as well. And she loved it. She did a super job. Um, as I said, I was trying out the cleats uh, for the first time. Uh, I had one fall uh, at the start of the trail. Uh, uh, where essentially uh, I forgot that I was clipped in and I literally just tipped over in slow motion. Um, but after that, it was pretty good day out. He really enjoyed it. Uh, the biggest part is I'm having fun with him. He's having so much fun exploring. He's not in danger. I'm not in danger. Uh, we're making sure that other people aren't in danger on the course and stuff like that if we're out. So we try and go at off peak times until I know I can fully trust him uh, to come back when called. Um, and we're also doing a lot of in obedience training with him. We use a long leash as well in kind of the greater open areas, uh, anywhere between 10 meters and 20 meters, um, just to go from there. But okay, uh, I think that's it until uh, we get out another week. Uh, he's going a bit crazy here. Uh, he needs to go for a nap and probably get some food into him as well. So, okay, until next time. Dog. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Huh? Huh?